Hello, Chapter Crafts here again and today I'm coming to show you this project um, lovely card with embossed features around the edge and that is from the Forever Lovely set um, it's stamps and dies and look at these I'm going to be using this one but as you can see you've got corners corner, corner dots nice little um, Oh, what do you call them things that you blow? Um, oh, come from dandelions, I think they do. Can't remember what they are. Um, yeah, it got some lovely pieces here. Also, if you didn't want this, you could cut it, just that out and have that set. And that, I think that coordinates with this one. Um, that coordinates with this one and this one okay that way i think yeah so you can either just cut around the edge stamp those and cut around the edge or stamp those and cut this on top and that will cut around the top automatically or yeah today we're going to be using this one and wishing you a lovely day stamp um right pop that back on there well that's how it get cracking so first of all you need a piece of basic black card and this is 11 and 6 eighths by 4 inch and ooh, you want to score it at 5 and 7 eighths now 5 and 7 eighths i don't know if you can see these are all eights okay so in here you got eight eights for one inch so when you say five and seven eights that's the mark just before the six six so let's see score that okay right. you all know your your quarter you all know your quarters your halves and your three quarters but yeah in between you got eights and then in between those don't show you on this one but in between those you got sixteenths so, just a quick tip there for you. Um, full of useless information, I am, you know. Oh, now I'm struggling to put my scoreboard away. So, I'm in the middle of um, redoing all my craft room. So, everything's down this side of the room. And that side of the room is clear, ready for painting, you see. Right, okay, so I've lost my bit. Right, to save some hassle, save some time, what I've done is I've cut this out already. And as you can see, you've got some embossed features here. So that'll go on like so. But first, first things first is where is... Hmm... Um, I did have, oh, do you know, everything is everywhere at the minute. Uh, I did have some powder pink ribbon out. That's it, no, that's not it. Hmm. Right, okay. Oh, I can't use pad pink. I did have some out. Uh, that's not going in for, has it? Oh. Do you know, I can't wait to get my craft room sorted and straight so I know exactly where everything is. I'd still lose it, no, may. No, right, okay, scrap that idea. Let's have a look what we've got. Um, fire. I've got a bit in here. Oh, I bet you that's a bit I was looking for. Any money, that's a bit I was looking for. Hey ho. Right, okay, so what I'm going to do is decide where you want a knot. So I'm going to want a knot there. Okay, so all I'm doing, I've got a thick pen, tie a knot in it, in your ribbon, okay? All right, and then just slide that off. Okay, like so. Right, next job. 
going to get our sentiment out of our stamp set. Keep using this uh, wishing you a lovely day because I think the font and the way they've done it is absolutely fantastic. Right, again, see if I can do this while the camera's in the way. Let me pick that up. Right, okay. Using some black ink. And we will put that, we'll put that in the same corner. And clean my stamp, put that away. Right, then what we're going to do is, I want to Lay that out like so, where you want your knot, where you want, yeah, okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit of tape up on there, and I'm not chucking my tape runner everywhere, and stick that down, just to hold it, okay, then, we want one glue dot, okay, and we'll pop it, pop the glue dot under the knot, okay, so if we go like that, and pop that under your knot, okay, so your knot is down, yeah, then Turn this over and face and snail if you've got it. Um, just on the other side, or you could just use glue, okay, like so. Right, then what I'm going to do is going to put wet glue on the back, including on the back of your ribbon. Okay, and we'll get the card, pop that on like so. Okay, and get your bone folder to make sure that I stuck down and I've moved it. Do you know? I had that much trouble with this wet glue. When I pushed it down, I like to use my bone folder to smear the glue out so you don't end up with lumps. Um, but the oh, amount of times I press. Right, so once that is stuck down, what you do, hold your knot into the loop of the ribbon and go at an angle. So, while holding that down, go into your ribbon. And go at a diagonal angle like so and there we go and you can just it will eventually go down with but yeah it just looks like it's been tied all the way around but yeah here you go um don't worry about all the measurements to the all the links to the men oh Excuse me, all the measurements are in my blog, which is the links be below. Just be careful when you're stamping, you don't get uh, ink on your, if you get ink on your block when you're stamping, sometimes you can't actually catch your white paper, which I've done there. It's either that or it's off the ink off my fingers, because I get covered normally. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That's that one. Um, right. Hope to see you again soon. It's all right. I was just thinking whether to put something else on that. But no. I'll leave it as it is. Okay then. See you later. Bye.